turkeys that we keep here are a breed called Narragansett turkeys. Uh, they're believed to have been developed starting the 17th and into the 18th centuries. Um, most people think that they are a cross between the wild turkeys of New England and turkeys that European colonists had brought with them uh, from Europe, which got there via the Spanish from Central and South America. Uh, we have about half a dozen, a fairly small flock. Uh, we see in inventories from this area during uh, the museum's period, uh, just around 1800, that a lot of farmers kept uh, both turkeys and geese. do here in the winter is make candles and to make candles we take suet which is beef fat and we render it down into tallow um, and then combine the tallow and water and the, what happens is the tallow floats to the top and the water sinks so that when you dip these in it pulls off a layer at a time of that fat and eventually it will coat the wicks enough to be thick enough for a candle. Well, it gets dark, as we know, in New England pretty early in the winter, so they would stay up a bit past dark, um, and they would have different things like reading and sewing and uh, mending your clothes and um, different activities to keep you busy um, past the time that it's really realistic to do other kinds of chores inside or out. The clothes that we wear here at the museum are all reproduction clothes that are copied from original garments that still survive. So every morning we go out and milk the cows and we get a, a couple of gallons every day and we need to store it in here and you can see that the cream, it rises to the top um, and then the skim milk is on the bottom so if you skim that cream off you can save it up to make butter with. This big cheese here was made with 23 gallons of milk and every day we need to take it and flip it over so that it um, ages properly. We've got uh, some new livestock, there's some new furry faces around. Uh, we've got a pair of American milking Devon cows, um, which are in milk currently, so that's part of, uh, part of our program. Uh, they're calves also, who were both born the end of July and August, so they're still cute, still small. Monday um, at the moment and uh, on the weekends as well you'll see a lot of this sort of um, activity going on when you come to visit.